Hi guys, this is me Sharon and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to make this mini bucket bag. You can make this as coin purse, essential oil pouch, small jewelry gift bag, or any small stuffs you would like to put in. It's so easy to make and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy how to make this very cute bag. For the materials, you will need any medium weight yarn of your choice, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, deering if you want, and also a bead if you don't have a stopper. So for this project, I'm going to be using a fingering weight yarn and I'm going to do or use double pull so that it would be similar to a light to medium yarn. So if you have a light to medium weight yarn, then you can use that. And uh, to have a tighter tension, I'm going to use 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, to start, I'm going to make a magic ring and then I'm going to chain one and work six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, Five, six. There you go. Now for round two, for round two, we're going to chain one. And then into the same stitch as chain one, we're gonna work two double single crochets. So into every stitch, work two single crochets. By the time you get back around, you should have 12 single crochets in total and then into the first single crochet made, not the chain one, you're going to work a slip stitch in there. So we're going to work a flat circle into the next few rounds and when we do flat circle, it means we're going to make an increase. So for the next increase, we're going to chain one. For round three, we're going to one, do one single crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to alternate that, that with two single crochets into every second stitch. So one, two single crochets into the next stitch. So when you get back around, you should end up with two single crochets into the last stitch and uh, to end the round, we're going to work a slip stitch into the first single crochet made. So this is a chain one and this is the uh, single crochet. So that is where we're going to slip stitch. So now round four. We're going to chain one, one single crochet into the same stitch, one single crochet into the next, two single crochets into every third stitch. Now, once you get back around, you're going to work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. And then, on round 5, we're gonna chain 1, 1 single crochet into the same stitch. And then, 
two more single crochets into the next two. So we already did one, one single crochet in the next, and into every fourth stitch. That is where we're gonna work two single crochets or what we call an increase. Now you're gonna work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. So if you are following the pattern, by this time you know how to work an increase into the next round. So into the next round, we're gonna work an increase into the fifth. So if you want to make the bucket bigger, you just need to work an increase into every round. And I'm gonna show you uh, a chart to which you can actually get the total number of the stitches that you need in order to create a perfect flat circle. So if you want to grow this circle bigger, you just need to work an increase until you get to the size that you want. So for so to the next round, it will be on the every fifth stitch. And then the next round after that, it will be on every sixth, seventh, eighth, and so on. After finishing sixth round, so I'm going to stop increasing. So before that, I'm going to work a slip stitch into the first single crochet made and then from here on there will be no more increase rounds so I'm just gonna chain one one single crochet into every stitch around I'm going to repeat working this one single chain to every stitch around until I get about an inch in height. So maybe after this, I'm gonna add a new collar. So I am into the 11th round now. So I did about five inches of just one single crochet to every stitch and I will still be doing that except that I'll be changing the uh, color so to change that uh, before slip stitching I am going to join the new color of the yarn just cut off the yarn like this new color just like that and then I'm going to tie both tails at the back. This is what I will be doing if ever I'm going to change the color or add a new color again. So after that, I will be chaining one and I will be burying the tails as I go. Maybe I will try to bury the tail here and maybe I'm gonna get after I get back around probably I'll be burying the tail as I get here if you're going to make this project make sure to check Pinterest for the uh, compatible colors so that your project will really look beautiful so uh, what I did was I checked on Pinterest and then I uh, looked for colors that I have and what color should go well together. So it's not just making this project but also picking the right colors so that it would look attractive and elegant. So if you're going to use two colors like mine, I can recommend black and white, something that is lighter and the other one is dark. So those are the two combinations that I think would really make your project look attractive. And you can also use gradient yarn. Probably you won't need to 
work stripes just keep on working the same color if you want and I think it will turn out also fine also if you're going to make this project do not forget to tag me on my Instagram account it's at SharonLee26 so that I can also see the project that you've made and also thank you so much for those who are liking commenting and subscribing to my channel if you're new to my channel you can check back on some of the purses and bags that I've made I have tons of bag tutorials purses tutorials that you might like and that you might make for your next project So I chained 70 and then I also made a tassel. So you can check my video on how you can make a tassel and then I will add the link below so that you can watch on how to make this one. And the next step would be we're going to make sure that this one stays in here so basically it's like this but you're gonna fold it like this and then this would be the front side so we're going to poke a hole Sure it goes through this one there and then from here Then
and that is how you can make a mini bucket bag you can use this as a coin purse you don't have to worry it will fall off because as you can see the opening of this bag is secure and you don't need any stopper you just need a bead and if you pull the string at the back it will secure the mini bag and you can also add key rings that's why there is a d-ring on it and it was very simple to make you can make lots of it especially on a holiday season if you're planning to give small stuffs to somebody then this is really perfect anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video do not forget to hit like comment if you have other crafts that you would like to see on my channel and don't forget to subscribe bye